Welcome to the video presentation of the RFID Locator project, an assets tracking application designed at the University of Fribourg. Let us begin with a presentation of the required infrastructure. RFID tags are activated by radio waves emitted by antennae. These antennae are connected to readers which are dispatching the events through a converter on the network. An event manager listening to the network is then catching the events, processing them and sending them further to the final application, RFID Locator. A client can then connect to the RFID Locator through a web interface. This is the concrete hardware we were using for our test cases. We first have the Texas Medio L100 with two antennae. This reader is connected to a converter taking serial raw data as input and dispatching them on the Ethernet. These are the RFID tags chosen in the sticker form. Eventually, a remote Sun Ultra Enterprise server hosts the event manager which processes the captured event. Let us see how tags are detected by a reader's antenna and sent further to the event manager. We are now monitoring the output of the event manager. Basically, the EM captures raw data, filters and transforms them into standard EPC events before further forwarding to a remote business application. Let us present two concrete use cases. The first example shows how to take advantage of the application to locate documents. For this use case, following hardware setup is needed. Two antennae are placed at the entrance of a room and connected to a single reader. This concrete setup has to be explained to our application. To begin with, we log in through the user interface on the web using username and password. Once this is done, we select the Configure the Environment menu entry. The environment is described in a XML file containing information about the reader's placement. Once the application is aware of the current context, we need to register a number of objects that the application will be able to trace. We start by giving the business number, here just yellow case. The next step is to give an electronic product code of the tag that we will attach to the object. We then submit the hole to attach the tag to the object. In the following scene, someone holding the yellow case enters our RFID enabled room. Now let us locate the yellow case using our application. We enter the business number of our object and since the readers captured the entry of the case, we should be able to find it in the list of recorded observations. Indeed, we see that the yellow case entered the room on May the 14th. Our second example is about creating a smart desk. For this use case, the following setup is needed. A desk with two stacks of documents under which an RFID antenna is hidden. Again, we have to expose this concrete setup to our application. This is done by using an XML describing the reader's configuration within the environment. In the following scene, an employee brings the yellow case containing documents to sign. He puts it on the stack of documents to approve on the smart desk. The director signs it 
and she places it on the stack for approved documents. Notice that the workflow we have just described is recorded by the RefID locator. This basically means that by searching the yellow case using the web interface, we get the corresponding observation list. We see that the yellow case was observed on the smart desk to approve stack and then on the smart desk approved stack. 